I loved uh, police since I was two years old. In 2018, Fox 8 first introduced our viewers to then eight-year-old Brady Snakowski. Brady and I were watching a television show about police and a canine uh, happened to come on the show. And he turned to me and asked, why is that dog not have a vest on? One year later, the effort to raise enough money for one vest ballooned to Brady being able to donate 79 ballistic vests like this one. Because it's really important for these dogs that save people's lives for them to be safe too. Yeah, I just want to protect them. Now, three years later, the effort is more than triple. Brady's canine fund donating 369 vests to departments around the world. His latest recipient, Canine Bosch, one of Akron's newest officers. I wear a vest. We all that work the streets, we wear a vest. It's our protection. He's my partner and he's became my best friend. So I want to protect him as well. It was cool to see um, Bosch because I could see their vest on him and see um, how I helped them. Happy dog. Brady's effort recently saving the life of canine Devil in Stockholm, Sweden. Attacked by a knife-wielding suspect, Devil lost part of his tail, but the knife did not penetrate his donated vest. And the canine was back on the job with his partner, Mike, this past weekend. I'm proud of myself because I am saving lives. I'm like, man. These people actually care about us, and they're not the only ones. You know, they say they're man's best friend, and I'm sure that uh, is a well-deserved title. In this case, uh, uh, Officer Bravarni and his partner can uh, rest a little easier knowing that they both are equally protected when they go out to try to serve and help keep the community safe. Do you consider yourself special? Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Dave Nethers, News Nation, in Cleveland, Ohio.